I know we've done a pork loin video before, but I'm going to do a little bit of a different technique on this one. So, take this one up at the store. Say. 8.56 pounder. So what I'm going to do that's different is I'm going to dry brine this one. So this thing is going to hang out in my fridge until in the morning when I get up to put it on the smoker. Actually, I may not put it on until around 10 or 11. We'll have to see. I'll have to figure the time up. But I'm going to try to use about a half a teaspoon or to a teaspoon of salt per pound. So I'm just going to shake it on I'm using kosher salt. Y'all can't tell by now, I love to smoke meat. It's become a hobby of mine. So the salt's going to add some flavor. Plus, it's going to help this meat get to where it will retain moisture better. Whoops. Pork can dry out on you very, very fast. If you're not careful. I guess it would help if I turn this the right way, wouldn't it? Alright. So I've got this thing nice and salted down. The next thing I'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to roll it up tightly in some saran wrap, lay it back on my pan, and put it in the fridge to hang out till tomorrow. Okay, so we've got it wrapped up. I'm going to slide it in the fridge. Also, when I cook this tomorrow, I will be smoking it fat side up. That way the fat will kind of drip down over the meat. I'm probably going to put it in a aluminum pan and not just lay it out on the rack. That way it preserves some of the juices. I'm kind of experimenting because I may be fixing fixing to smoke a bunch of these for church dinner. So we're going to see how this turns out. So here we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this thing unwrapped. Been hanging out for several hours. Dry brining in salt in my fridge. I think I actually put it in, I'm not sure, maybe around 11, 12 yesterday, which it's like around 12 o'clock now. So it's got almost a good 24 hours on it. So, got my mix of seasonings here in an empty bottle I had. I mixed it all up. It's got garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, cumin, sea salt, and black pepper. So I'm going to give this a good coating. And remember, this baby is going to smoke that side up. I don't want to lose any of that juice, so I put it in a pan. This is a different way. I've not done a pork loin like this in a pan. I usually just let them hang out on the rack. I've never brined one that I can remember. So I'm going to see if this makes any difference. 
So we're going to get this seasoned up and we'll be back when we're done. Okay, so it's got it's seasoning all over it. And I think it's going to build up a really good bark. So anyway, I was going to put just straight hickory in it, but I think I'm going to add some fruit wood. Not sure what kind. I'll have to get out there and see what I've got. Anyway, it's going to hang out at 225 for probably four to five hours. I'm not going to wrap it. I never wrap pork on. I've never wrapped a pork uh, roast either. I may have to try that sometime, but not today. Um, but anyway, it needs to reach an internal temperature of at least 165. So that's what we're shooting for. And we will check in periodically. I'll probably let it go for the first two hours without messing with it. Then the third hour, I will spritz it down with a mixture of water, apple juice, and apple cider vinegar. That apple juice will add just a hint of a sweet flavor. And all of it together will just help keep it moist. So we'll check back in. All right, so we've been rolling for about going on two and a half hours. So I just sprayed it down. I'm just seeing to put a probe thermometer in and keep up with the temp. Back in a while. Okay, so we're all finished up. It's got a nice smoke ring. It's good and juicy. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Catch you next time.